Hey, this is Flame Solus. Today, I'm trying something new for a change. Previously, I've been working on varying projects, but had nothing really logging or keeping track of things. So, this time I figured why not try a video log of sorts to maintain how the projects are going. The project in question is a DIY motion capture suit, taking some design notes and similarities from the Perception Neuron, a professional grade motion capture suit that only costs $1,500. The idea is to use a bunch of MPU 6050 gyroscope accelerometers to monitor how the body is currently posed. So instead of something like the HTC trackers, which monitor the positions of the actual joints, it will instead deduce how the bones are orientated and therefore can figure out where something like your feet or hips are. The other interesting thing about it is this would allow easier addition for knee tracking and elbow tracking. In the past I previously did work on this, but I determined I actually had all the sensors arranged the wrong way, resulting in a case where lifting your leg would actually twist it and shimming your legs from side to side would cause it to move it forward and back. Either way, I proved that this idea can work, it just needs to be refined. So with this video uh, being uploaded, I'm resuming this project yet again, but instead of creating a larger full scale model of what I was intending to work on, the idea is to do a smaller scale representation. While it doesn't have a name yet. I'm instead placing all the sensors on this wooden mannequin and then seeing how well it works with the software implementation of monitoring these sensors. The idea is if it works on the smaller scale, it'll work just as effectively on the larger scale. So this makes things a lot easier to troubleshoot. Currently I'm wiring up the legs already having finished the power, and next will come the data lines and finally the interrupt pins. This will allow me to at least see if the idea works. The current obstacle that I have to deal with is a bit of a gotcha moment if you will. It's not as simple as simply tracking the sensor's rotations. After all, if it was that easy, everyone would have been doing this by now. The current problem that exists is the moment that you lift your leg up, the other sensors also detect this change in rotation. Instead of the leg going directly up, we instead begin bending the knee backwards, which is not as intended. The solution, however, is simple. We just need to understand that any bones before the bone we're trying to observe should have the rotation subtracted. By doing this, we can make it so that if we lift our leg by 30 degrees, the shin and feet will understand that it doesn't need to apply said 30 degrees. This is where the software part of the equation will come in, as the microcontroller will simply be sending all the sensor data directly to the computer for processing. Currently, I am working on this project in three phases. The first is going to be working on the actual hardware. The second will be the software. And finally, if we still proceed in doing everything all right, the last one will be emulating the trackers. If we're able to emulate the trackers, we'll be able to emulate almost any point on the body. I'm hoping to make these videos a reoccurring thing, uh, continuing to document as I make more progress on the project, noting any discoveries, any things I've noticed that have inhibited my ability to progress, uh, as well as any progress towards overcoming those situations. I may also find time to work on a few other videos or ideas but I do want to continue working on the project and eventually see it to completion. 
as my hopeful goal is to release it under the MIT license, effectively making it an open sourced idea. So if you're interested in what this project will be involving, feel free to subscribe and also perhaps even follow me on Twitter where I'll post snapshots of progress as I make them. Of course, I will try and highlight them in these videos, uh, even being able to show better details and explanations. And who knows, maybe some of the future videos will actually be shot using that project.